Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to skip to this using a high clearance vehicle. Make sure to check out my other two videos about Sedona, Arizona to make the most out of your trip with your overlanding vehicle. Here's some helpful information about Soldier's Pass. This is one of Sedona's most popular hikes. There's free shuttles that operate Thursday to Sunday. So if you're trying to do this hike Monday through Wednesday, you'll have to hike an additional mile. The round trip foot hike will be a total of 4.5 miles approximately. If you wanna drive the Soldier Pass Road, there's only 12 vehicles allowed per day. And you need to get yourself a permit on recreation.gov. It's $6 and one permit per rig. The trail is a little over a mile, depending if you want to do some offshoots or not. And some of those offshoots can be very difficult. Quite honestly, the wife and I were just interested in hiking to that cave. So we actually skipped out on those offshoots. So I have permits for Soldier's Pass for today. And I don't know, do you want to do another trail? Sure, whatever you You know what, we got to do it. We're going to go to Soldier's Pass right now because um, we got the permit and we got to go check out that soldier's cave. Excited? You're not. <laughs> All right. Lunch break. Let's see how they do this. I think it's uh, this cut over here. Huh. Is it this first? There's two gates on the bottom of the pick. There is an electronic key code gate right off the road. And then at the top of this picture, you have this gate with a combination lock. Your permit from recreation.gov will have a four digit combination code. My vehicle is a 2019 Honda Passport with a 3.5 inch Traxta USA lift kit. Having over 12 and a half inches of ground clearance is a little overkill, but I would recommend at least nine. And now it's time to start the trail. Right. And by the way, you need two codes. You need a code to get electronic code to get through that gate, and then uh, the mechanical code right here. All right, you ready for this? And this this hike at the cave is gonna be awesome. I'm super excited about this. Trail in first gear the entire time. <laughs> Gatekeeper, but it, it's really not. Uh, it's steep over here, but that's about it. So, gonna respect this. It is short but steep. Not as steep as a double staircase, though. <laughs> that was freaking terrifying. Most people, uh, most people um, believe that Broken Arrow is more difficult than Soldier's Pass. This is a pretty easy trail. So if see me, I marked it in red. What does it red mean? Red means don't go there. It means. Oh. Difficult four wheel drive. No, we're not trying to die. Die, no. Yeah, see, this is easy stuff. These are, I don't know, just really small rocks. But I know uh, to some vehicles, like, you know, this would be, like some all-wheel drives wouldn't want to traverse this kind of terrain. I totally get it. But 
you know, it's not too bad. If you have uh, low profile tires, I do not recommend you drive through that terrain. Okay, so right here, I need to see left. If you go right, then it's really off camber and very difficult. So, uh, in Trails Off Road, on the Trails Off Road website, they say if you go right, it's the fun way. But I could totally see how, if, like, if you didn't know where you're going, you probably would step down that way because you would think that this right here is a cliff, um, a shelf, and, and it's dangerous. Like, you could roll to the right, but yeah, whoever ends up on that side, that's. I saw the videos, it's pretty gnarly, even, uh, even for Jeep, I think. So this isn't a bypass that we're on, it's just that over to the right, that's an offshoot. And the offshoots are hard. Level 5 out of 10 difficulty. And that's a really that's a really high rating considering that um, the next category is severe and then it goes to extreme. So like level 6. Hey, there's that, there's that Cherokee. Oh, they parked. There's this, um, oh, the Sacred Pools, babe. It's a hike. We should go to the Sacred Pools. It's still a long way, babe. How the temperature? We could get on the way, we could go on the way back. Okay. We could go on the way back. I have no energy to hike. It's too hot. It is getting rockier, but um, still relatively easy. <laughs> oh, you have reception again, babe? Mm -hmm. You tic tac again? Mm -hmm. All right, so there might be something. So we got these rocks, but um, now it's uh, a bit, it's a bit rockier. Can't really see where we're going. Line choice. Well, the GoPro died at the wrong time, but that was a Alright, continuing on, we go bring down the fans a little bit. We're, you know, this time we're gonna leave the fans on. Maybe they will help keep the GoPro colder. So as you saw there, the Soldier Pass Trail wasn't anything special, but it does let you skip out on about two miles of hiking. And because there's so much to see in Sedona, Arizona, in my opinion, it's well worth it. You're fine. How, how, many, how much more? No more. It, it's a tree right behind. It's a bush right behind yeah, you. I noticed that.
is. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I got you. Yeah, and put your hand here. Where was it? Yeah, like right here. Okay, there you go. go. Oh my god, let me get up. Get these sunglasses off. Wow, this is cool. Super cool. Oh wow. Wait, I'm trying to get the grip. Hold on. Okay, alright, there's like little hand holes. Here. I don't have long legs. <laughs> here, give me Wait, let me try my first and then if I couldn't. Yeah, right, right here. Right right here. Right. No, 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 no. Grab right here. And then grab right. Wait, where was that? It was somewhere. Here. Give me your other hand. Alright. Get up there. Oh, it's so cool. It's so good. It's good. <laughs> just here? This way? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, just don't slip. Real quick. Don't slip or you get hurt. <laughs> Come up right through here. And then you can put your hand up on this rock and then you can pull yourself, like push yourself up. Onto the cliff the entire grab on the rock the entire time. So quiet. That's an awesome one. Look. Drop by. Just take your time. It's not bad. I, I think know. that's more scary right there. I don't know. I can't. I can't. I'm supposed to be sick. <laughs> okay. You go down first. <laughs> All right. I really hope I didn't downplay trail difficulty in this video. Trails Off-Road rates this level 3 moderate for four-wheel drive. And generally speaking, a all-wheel drive could have a lot of difficulty on a moderate four-wheel drive trail. My Honda has modifications to make it a lot more capable than stock form. And it has more ground clearance than many stock four-wheel drives. So you'll see in this video that I have a lot of ground clearance to spare, and I do think that a modified all-wheel drive, let's say a Subaru with a lift kit or a four-wheel drive with taller tires, should be able to get through this trail without too much problem. For all-wheel drives with non-aggressive gearing, you might have to use momentum on sections like this. For an all-wheel drive with more aggressive gearing, no problem. You can just admire the views. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at the background. It's so awesome. Yeah, it's, we're, we're already facing it. Where's your phone? Uh, I got it. It's in my pocket. We're good. We got it. No, no, it's on that, not that pocket. Got it. All right, so here's the hardcore side. And I mean, yeah, you could get down that. That kind of looks like broken arrow right there. But, um, it is supposed to be pretty gnarly. Uh, I can't confirm that though, because I'm not gonna go down that way. Please be considerate of the Jeep tours. Make sure that you do not block the trail. <laughs> okay. You go forward now? All right, let me give that a try. <laughs> okay. 
Almost got it. There we go. Woo! There you go. <laughs> All right, enjoy the tour. Yeah. You know what I mean? Can you record me going up this right here? Okay. It's already recording. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I have to put on my shoes. There's a house right there. A horse? A house. Oh, okay. Just follow me. Follow me up. Sideways? Okay, hold on. Wait for me. So there you have it. I hope you found this trail guide useful if you're planning on skipping out on a lot of the hike to Soldier's Pass. Till next time, I hope you have fun on your adventures. All right, babe, that was a pretty fun trail and hike. That was a great day. Yep. How do you feel about it? Did you have fun? Yes. All right, gotta open this gate now.